Ah. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dom here with Still Nice CNC. As you can see, have you ever struggled with moisture ruining your tools or your spray jobs? Or maybe you're just tired of the mess of tangled hoses laying on your shop floor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a three-stage air drying system to deliver your tools the cleanest air possible to keep your tools running smoother than ever and add a beautiful hose reel to the top of the wall here like a pro. So let's jump right in. But before we get started, let me ask you, what's your biggest frustration when working with air compressors? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it and might even have a solution in a future video. Here's what we're working with. We have a three-stage air dryer to remove moisture, oils, in particular from the air. A sturdy hose reel to keep everything tidy. Before we mount them, let's quickly go over the tools you'll need. You'll need a drill, maybe a secondary drill, wall anchors or uh, those plastic things that go on a wall, the screws, uh, that is for this one. This here has its own screws and its own um, anchors. So we'll have to have two different size drill bits. I got a 12 here and a 10 there. The 10 is, or sorry, I got an eight there, a 10 there. The uh, 10 is for this here and an eight is for this here. Let's move on. First, let's mount the air dryer. I've chosen this spot close to the compressor for maximum efficiency. A quick tip, always use a level to ensure your setup is straight. It not only looks better, but also prevents leaks from uneven connections. Next up is a hose reel. I am mounting it on the side of the wall to keep the hose accessible but out of the way. Where could you mount your hose reel? Comment below. I'm curious to how others organize their space. Drill and mount the hose reel securely. With the reel in place, we'll connect it to the output of the air dryer. This ensures that air is dry and clean by the time it reaches the end of the hose. 
Incorporating a hose reel into your workshop offers several key benefits. Enhanced safety. By keeping hose reels neatly stored, hose reels minimize tripping hazards contributing to a safer work environment. Prolong hose lifespan. Proper storage prevents kinks and damages, extend the life of your hoses and reducing replacement costs. Improve efficiency. With hoses readily accessible and easy to retract, you save time and maintain an organized workspace, boosting overall productivity. Investing in a hose reel is a practical step toward a safer, more efficient, and cost-effective workshop. All right, so after the three-stage air dryer system is securely attached to the wall and the hose reel is mounted up high above on the workshop surface, I am connecting the hose from the air compressor into the three-stage air drying system. Each stage has a filtration. The first stage is of high particulate, pretty much dust, oil, and water. The second is a dry air system that has a filter inside just in case if any water gets past that. Uh, sorry. Uh, particulates get past that and the last one is for moisture that has silica beads inside. I've already connected the blue hose from the reel to the import of the three stage air drying systems. I'm just double checking right now because I heard a leak and it wasn't securely attached. But nonetheless, we found the solution. So what I'm doing now is unscrewing the stop ring to adjust the length of the hose so I can pull it easily from high above. You don't want it too low where someone can hang or kids can play with it and you don't want it too high where you can't reach it. You need to have it in a perfect spot where it's easily accessible. So what I got going on here is I'm testing the reel to make sure it's not bound from factory when they shipped it out. Uh, sometimes that can happen where people aren't paying attention, but it seems to be working in a great ordeal. Uh, there's about 15 meters of hose there, so that's good enough for the whole workshop. But I'm going to be adding plumbing later on throughout the workshop for various areas in the workshop. So stay tuned for that upgrade as well. So what do you think of this setup? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more workshop upgrades and DIY projects. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming builds. What is one upgrade you've been meaning to make in your workshop? Let me know in the comments below. I might feature it in a future video.